Hello friends and welcome back to So Aldo. For today's episode, I am going to show you how to make this faux wrap dress. So if you want to see how, keep on watching. The first thing I will do is I'm going to cut out the front bodices. I will have a separate pattern tutorial on how I made the pattern. You seemed to enjoy the last pattern tutorial that I did, so I decided I'm just going to separate this video so we can focus more on making the pattern. I have about two yards of fabrics here, and this is called a double brush jersey knit. I'm going to have the link in the description box below. I bought this a while back, so I'm not sure if the same print is still available, but I love working with the double brush jersey knit fabric. I kind of strategically put it like where the print is going to sit because I just don't want random prints right right on my chest and I also want to make sure that the line is straight. Now I am cutting the back bodice. Now I am cutting the sleeves. The pattern that I made was for a shorter sleeves but I decided I want a long sleeve dress because I just don't have one. To do that, I just extended the length of the sleeve. And then I will sew the inseam. This was actually the last part of the construction of the dress. But since I am showing you the sleeve patterns here, I decided to just insert the clip right here. And I will be doing a regular straight stitch since I don't really need to stretch the seams on the sleeve. Now it's time to sew the darts. So this is the back bodice. I just pin the darts and I'm just going to sew it from here all the way to the top. And same on the front bodices. I will also sew the darts just like I showed you here. Thank you. 
and then when I finish sewing the dart I'm going to give an extra tail so I can actually knot the thread so the darts will not unravel After I finish the dart, I am going to join the bodices together. So I'm going to sew on the shoulder seams and the side seams. On the side seams, I just did a basting stitch because I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to attach the front bodices together. So I just kind of did a um, basting stitch right on the side seams. So if I need to seam rip it later on when I'm constructing the dress, the bodice and the skirt together, it will be much easier. After that, I made some bias tape or bias binding. Um, I did not have enough fabric to work with, that's why it's a little narrow. Uh, but ideally, you want to make it a little wider than this, maybe an inch and a half or even two inches. But I just did a one inch wide. After I've sewn them together and trim off the tails or the edges of the fabric, it should look something like this. I actually made it extra long just to be sure, just to be extra careful because I have done that before when I'm like an inch shorter and I just kind of hated it. So this time I actually, um, I actually made it extra long. So you basically want it to be longer than the full neckline of the dress. Before I attach the, the bias tape on the neckline, I did a stay stitch right on the edge of the neckline right here. And then I'm going to place the bias tape right on the right side of the fabric. And then I'm going to sew it from here all the way to the other end. I am doing a stretch stitch and you also want to make sure that you are going to sew like below the, um, below the stay stitch because you don't want to see that when you fold the fabric under.
and then I'm going to push the fabric just like this so I should have three layers of raw edges here the neckline and the bias tape so I should have three layers so I'm just going to push it up like this and I'm going to search the raw edges if you don't have a serger you can always use a zigzag stitch that will be fine and then I'm going to fold the bias tape under you can top stitch it or you can just hand sew it if you want to this is the time to do it so it will be much easier for you later on as you can see here I already seam ripped the side seams of the bodice um, the reason why is I can so I can easily attach the front bodices together. I'm going to sew a stretch stitch right along the waistline. Front bodices is going to be just one piece instead of two. Now it should look something like this. Now it's much more manageable and it's not confusing. And then I'll go ahead and sew the side seams again. Now it's time to make the bottom of the dress. I'm using this pattern but I already did a half circle skirt pattern tutorial. I'm going to have the link in the description box below or at the end screen. If you notice, I also strategically placed the pattern on the fabric because I just want to make sure that it is straight because the pattern or the fabric has stripes. So I just kind of place it just like that. But ideally, you are going to save more fabric if I'm going to put the edge of the pattern on the selvage of the fabric. So after I cut out the pieces, I sew the side seams together and then I pin it on the bodice waistline. I'm going to pin it all the way around and sew it all the way around using a stretch stitch because the waistline is going to stretch when I put it on. So it's important to use a stretch stitch. If you don't have a stretch stitch feature on your sewing machine, you can always use a narrow zigzag stitch. After this, I am going to hang it or drape it on my mannequin. So the next day, finish the hemlines. I'm also going to attach the sleeves and the dress is done. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you love this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload new video every week. So yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!